Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of DK Rager. Today, we are doing the Tier 10 AFV, known as the Sphinx. Um, for one, you'll notice that it has three tires on each side, making it a six-wheeled vehicle, unlike its counterpart, known as the Crab, with only four wheels. Um, Another distinct difference between the two is the fact that the Sphinx shoots 40mm APFS DS, whereas the Crab shoots 25mm Fang APFS DS. The damage between the Crab is 76 and the pen is 211, whereas the Sphinx penetration of 306, damage of 224. Damage per minute, 10,158, with a reload time of 10 seconds overall. 100 round per minute for the rate of fire. Defense, which means its hit points is 2,110. Max speed of 109.8 kilometers an hour, with a 0 to 32 of 1.9 seconds. Camouflage. It is an armored fighting vehicle, so it will have incredible camouflage. 0 0.4235 all around. View range of 480 meters. Mind you, I could easily get that up if I retrofit it after I've unlocked the other retrofit slots. And I could easily get that over 500. Um, cannon depression of negative 16 degrees and negative 4 degrees. Accuracy spread of 0 0.10 degrees with an aim time of 2.54 seconds. Turret traverse 62.4 degrees a second. Now as you'll see I have really not gotten all that far with the Sphinx. It is 1% right now with a level 2 crew and of course, I have Sabrina Washington in it, due to the fact that it is an armored fighting vehicle. I do have Smooth Ride, because you will be moving quite a bit. It's, it's one of those machines where you'll either be moving quite a bit, or you'll be camouflaged up somewhere far in the back. Um, as you can tell, if I am far in the back, I want my peak accuracy as best as possible. So I have Marksman, peak accuracy when the accuracy circle is the smallest. Of course, the, the aim time is 2.54 seconds, so it'll take a little bit of time just to get that accuracy spread down. So, um, As you can tell, it has 40mm APFS DS, as well as 40mm GPR PD high explosive. It is. It has MLP ATGM tandem heat missiles as well. Uh, the tandem heat missiles penetration is 1410, but it has to penetrate because it, it is still heat, which means if whatever you're shooting at has reactive armor, it's not going to go through, even though it has a penetration of 1410. Uh, it also has a damage of 734, so if it does pen, it's going to wreck whatever it's hitting. Um, of course, it comes with two global retrofit slots, an armor retrofit slot, as well as a mobility. Um, I have spare parts, medical kit, automatic fire extinguisher, and a field rebuild kit. Um, it's one of those things where I might change the medical kit to a normal repair kit, but if, say your driver got knocked out, you don't want to be driving without a good proper uh, driver. Let me go ahead and add my decals and camo, because I haven't really outfitted this thing yet at all. Um, Disappointingly enough, as you could tell, I I've never actually shown the camo prices. If you were to do it just by credits, it's eight million per. So that is eight million, another eight million, and another eight million. 
Now mind you, if you did it for gold, it's about 250 per. So a lot of people do it via gold. Uh, of course, you have your base paint. Go ahead and add mine because I'm thoroughly going to need it. And apply. There we go. Okay. And one final thing to look at is the armor. This thing actually has quite a bit of armor for being an AFV. 175 millimeters in the front turret as well as the front hole. Side turret 175, side hole 145. 80 for both in the rear. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I actually can't click that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, hole modifiers and turret modifiers are 1.00. Um, if you look at the upgrade, it does get level 5 protection upgrade, and it's a huge upgrade to its whole and turret modifier, so. Um, it also gets a better HE round, uh, improved suspension, electrical starter generator, uh, and the mobility retrofit, obviously run flat tires, which is very useful, improve power steering, which if you're in a wheeled vehicle, it, it's already hard enough as it is to turn, so, uh, smoke grenades, improve gunner sights, gun stabilization, uh, air conditional, air conditional, yeah, uh, improve targeting computer, upgraded camera systems, enhanced cooling system, and four credit packages of one million apiece. So, as you can tell, tier tens are the best for making that extra money. Because if you go back, go to tier nine, go to your upgrade, and you look at the credit packages for there, seven hundred fifty-nine thousand five hundred. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get us a match. Uh, eh, it's Umbrella, but... And you'll also see the fact that, uh... After this match, I'll have a crap load of experience. Don't take it as word, because that is not how much you'll make on a double, or how much you'll make on a normal match. Uh, we actually have times fives going on right now due to Memorial Weekend, um, so yeah, it could be 25,000, it could be 48,000, it all determines on how well I personally do. <sighs> Hopefully we can get a match here, um, it's fairly early in the morning, so we have two tier 10s in queue, one, two, nine, seven in hard, so most of those people in hard are either in four in the sixes to sevens and fives so since we are sort of waiting I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the other tier tens real quick because I feel that it needs to be discussed um, as you can tell, I only have the T14 Armada and the Sphinx unlocked. That's it. I have them both in my garage, and that, there you go. The other tier 10s are the Challenger 2 ATDU, the PL01, go to the Wolfley's line, the Leopard 2A7 140, and the XM1 A3, of course, and the Sphinx. The, uh, the only other tier 10 that I will be getting currently within the next month or two or whatever will be the PL01. I really don't have uh, any interest in the Challenger 2 ATDU, the Leopard 2A7, 140, nor the XM1 a I, I really have no interest in them. Um, which is funny too because I was a huge fan of the Challenger 1 and a huge fan of the Ariat. I'm I'm sort of a fan of the Leopard 2A5, as well as the Leopard 2A6, but don't have the interest in the Challenger 2A TDU, nor the Leopard 2A7 140, so... 
and it's really sad because I love the M1A2 Abrams, but I could care less about the XM1A3. I, I don't know. I guess it's just something to do with what tanks I've played the most or uh, what kind of machines that I like the most, so. All right, Black Company. We've lured the NPA Like, their personally, but the area is I, I do like main force. battle tanks. You'll I love my WZ-1224, but enforcement. in all Good honesty, I love AFAs more than Arthur anything tanks. else in this game. I think it's why I love the, uh, Good Black Company. Crab and the, uh, Direct quickly. Sphinx, as well as the Draco, the most. Our jets will provide flares to mark their locations. Move to intercept and use whatever force necessary. Let's see. It also has designation lighting, so you can lose targets. Um, of course, all AFVs have this. That's good, yeah. indeed. They start the genocide from here. Target and down. It's time to stop them. Of course, as you can Stop. tell, Don't lose the I'm doing a crap load of damage. Sort of like what a Draco would do. Uh, as you can tell, um, I only have 13 rounds per, per, uh, magazine size, so. I think the biggest thing to take into account for is the fact that I'm not going to be doing, uh, most of the damage in this match. I might be doing a crap load of it. But I'll be getting a lot of spotting damage. Target hit. Target down. There we go. Oh. I've got that one lit. Let's go ahead and designate Deadly. it for Nailed him. Nice, thank you for that 796. That'll be very useful. Thank you for that 796. Penetrate. Target down. Designations come into play very well for armored fighting vehicles, and a lot of people seem to not understand what lasing a target is and why AFVs do it. Basically, it gives the uh, the tank an opportunity to deal max damage. So if you're shooting it, you gotta love how you can just hit a bump and it goes all over the damn place. Crab issue, fox issue. Um, but as I was saying, it has the same exact uh, type of thing of a Draco and a crab and whatnot, where if you designate a target, it basically gives you opportunity to hit for full damage. Well so done, if you're dumb. driving a T90MS and you're shooting AP, as you saw him, he was shooting 796 always. If he was shooting heat, he probably would have been hitting even more than that. So it more or less determines Good hit. whether Target or not you're hit. shooting AP or, or heat, or even HE for that matter, uh, whether or not you are Penetrated. shooting with top ammunition, because no you may have the lowest ammunition. Um, there's a lot of key factors in it. But a lot of people, when they automatically see that laze, they say, oh, he's lazing his own target, don't shoot at it. No, do not do that. This will annoy the hell out of people who laze targets and probably be pissed off. When they laze a target, they're doing it for both themselves as well as the rest of their team. Target hit. The entire point of a lasing no effect. so that their entire team can do full frickin' damage. But people seem to forget this. They, they just automatically assume that they're lasing the target for themselves so that they can do full damage and that so they... so the rest of the team can just, you know, not do anything. And it bugs me. It really Identify does. Target. And there's a bunch of people awesome. that are bugs. Because people know this. Direct and this is, it's more or less for the those win against the NBA is a win for humanity. Because we have had quite a bit of new Direct people it. recently. 
and a lot of those people are complaining in regards to a lot. Uh, like, oh, this this guy is using the Draco. That's a complaint a lot. And, and I understand the Draco is overpowered, and I love it, and so does pretty much everyone else that ha owns a Draco. Identify. It's the same Awful way with the Sphinx. Turn. Nailed them. The Sphinx is incredible. I, I mean, as much as I love the Draco, and I love Tina and EMS, and all these others that I have played and finished and whatnot, the Sphinx... The f ugh, God. Sorry, I get the hiccups going. Um, But the, uh, the Sphinx is just really incredible. Technically ready. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. There's still a PO1 that you sort of just left over there alive. Penetrated. Uh, can't move up. Target. Terminator. Oh, oh, they hit crap. A target. target locked on. Direct hit. Good hit. Nailed it. Oh, buddy. Get a life, Terminator. Get a life. Up. Leave me alone. Leave us me as alone as. There we go. Okay. Gotta get off this hill, because otherwise the Terminator is gonna start awesome. chewing me up. That's the last thing I need right now. There. There we go. Okay. Direct hit. Penetrated. Target destroyed. Boom. Over 10,000 damage now. Now, it's funny, too, because if I was actually in my crab, I would not have been able to penetrate that area. Nailed them. There's actually a lot that I would not be able to do if I was in my crab. Uh, for instance, all those rounds that that Terminator or that the Romka just shot in the front of me, I would not have deflected all of them. Mind you, he is shooting AP. So if I was in my crap, I would have been chewed up right there. Probably dead. Go ahead and back up, because that Abrams will penetrate. Ammo up. Direct hit. Target down. Other Abrams. Thank you for killing him, Challenger 2. Means the world to me. Uh, Thunderbolt side here. Uh, probably won't get any damage on him because he's behind that stupid jet. There we go. I got a couple Reloading. rounds into him. That'll work. Uh, okay. Actually, we're running on... Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. I know I'm not stupid. I'm actually... I was actually heading that way. People get too worrisome. I swear, they automatically see that it's like a minute Good left, and they're like, Oh no, we better get on cap, otherwise we're gonna lose. Driving out the MPAA stream. Don't ever do that when, when you're in a match with me. Don't. It, it bugs the hell out of me. We were not gonna lose that. There was only one tank left. Physically. All that was left over there was that T90MS. And we would have won right then and there. Hell. Both me and the other Sphinx could have easily capped that faster than the T90MS on our side and the Challenger 2 because of our Sabrina Washington that just so happens to be in there and the fact that AFV's base cap way faster than main battle tanks. So do not tell me 
or anyone else to hurry up and get on cap, otherwise we're gonna lose. Uh-uh, no. It's, you're full of crap. Um, as you can tell, straight up to 2%, 31,271 due to the fact that I have a, that we are having times fives going for Memorial Weekend, uh, 151,899 credits. 13,587 of my own damage with 9,098 spotting damage. 12 spotted. I sadly was basically tied for second, uh, or tied for first. 7 kills, 9 assists. The only reason he actually beat me was a little extra damage and a little extra spot. That's it. Um, while damage well concealed, 9750. Uh, damage caused while stationary, 12,913. Uh, spots, uh, 9,098. But the designations, 2,184. So as you can tell, designating targets is very freaking useful. Uh, oh, look at that. I also finished one of my daily challenges and got an extra 150,000 credits. Oh, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The tier 10 armored fighting vehicle, the Sphinx. Um, if you are wanting the Sphinx, it is down the Wolfley's line. Blue dealer, and basically, you can use a tier 9 token via like the Draco, the Crab, the A2, or even the 2A6 in regards to the fact of you can use one of their tokens and you can get either the 2A7 140, the XM 183, or the Sphinx. I highly recommend the Sphinx. Um, it's no offense to the Challenger 2 ATDU, you can probably get your HP up to about 5,000, and that's nice and all, and yet yeah, you've got armor for days, but, uh, I mean, if you're wanting to have fun with the game, I recommend the Sphinx. If you want to play a light tank and want to see bounces like crazy even though you are in a white tank I recommend going down the PL1 it is the next tier 10 I'm getting so let me know in the comment section below of what tier 10 you want to play is it the Sphinx maybe it's the T14 Armada hey maybe you're like me and you want to go straight for that PL1 who knows just let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy the show, hit that like button. If you want to show your friends? Go ahead and hit that share button. Let's show the Sphinx worldwide. And if you want to stay tuned for all DK Rager episodes or any of our other series.